it was a good game. I mean, we fought back. We didn't quit. We kept going. When we have four turnovers and two of those turnovers go for touchdown, it's going to be a long day. We had our shots. Last drive, we tried to get it stopped. We couldn't get it stopped. They kicked the field goal. And uh, that's part of football. Just like I told those guys, we all in it together as a football team. It ain't offense, it ain't defense. And I told them guys, if, if it's defense, if we would have pushed just three times on those four field goals, we would have put a little bit more effort. We got to block those three blocks, we win the game. Special teams, if we have an opportunity to stay on our block just a little bit longer, and the Ron Carr on, on punt, have a chance to break one because he had a chance. If somebody's still on the block just a little bit longer, we may have scored a touchdown, different ball game. So as a football team, we all part of this loss. And we're not blaming nobody as a football team. And I told them in that locker room, we all in it together. And uh, we got to stick together. Randy, on the, on the uh, second touchdown, they just wanted to, uh, what, what did it appear to you that happened? It seemed like maybe he was pitching it forward or? You know what? I, I, I can't even, to me, he looked like he pitched it forward, but I can't get involved in that. I mean, it's a game. One play shouldn't make a difference in the game, but it happened, so we got to, you know, accept what it is and move forward, George. Are you allowed to fumble forward and then advance? No, as the rule said, you can't. <laughs> you can't fumble forward. I mean, it, you know, I can't. It is what it is. It, I can hype on that one play, but it's a million plays. I mean, they had, I don't know, they 63 plays. You know, one play don't make a difference out of 63. I mean, he, so, you know, we had the other 62 plays. We could have made something happen, and we didn't, and, and that was the big difference. What were they reviewing on that play? Was it Hankerson coming up, or was it the pitch forward? I mean, could they remove both of those plays? Or just Out of bounds, and uh, come on, on that, that play. On the pitch forward, and when Hankerson ran him down at the end, were they reviewing that too? or? Yeah, both of them. Both plays? Yeah. The interceptions, uh, interceptions uh, Randy, uh, with Zachary, a, a couple of them he got hit on. but Four interceptions, no matter how you call it. It's too many interceptions, two of them touchdown. That can't happen. Did they give you any kind of explanation as to why they didn't review? I mean, the, the ball was fumbled forward two yards. I mean, it wasn't even. I can't give you honestly, Gary. It's a new point. It's, it's a mute point right now. I mean, we got to move forward. I mean, you know, officials officials are human. You know, they gotta they have to go by what they see. The replay guy got to go by what he sees, and you got to respect him. I mean, that's his job, and I think everybody in his job do everybody in this conference do their job the best of their ability. Now, if they make mistakes, they make mistakes, but. You know what, I can't, I can't sit up there and criticize him because he just made a call that he seen was what he seen on replay. So I got to respect him, and he made it. So that's one thing about uh, officiating. At least they'll make a call, you know, and some guys, guys won't make a call. But I can respect him for making a call and doing his job. So you got to move on. Disappointing that the defense at the end, Rene, you make a stop there. Obviously, they're just running the ball. Yeah, disappointing. Disappointing big time. You know, I thought we had, we had the momentum going if we'd had a stop. It would have been a big play, but, you know, we couldn't get them stopped. They kicked the field goal and, and that iced the game for them. What do you tell Ja'Cory after a game like this? Yeah. Got to go back to the books. Next week is Duke. We got uh, a senior day for our seniors. It's, it's four years myself have been with these guys that are seniors. Three years with these guys have been with the seniors. They're a good group of guys. They work so hard for getting this program where we're at today. And, uh, you know, those guys mean a lot to this program, mean a lot to me and this football team. And that's the biggest focus that we got to get ready for next week. You talked about before, uh, Randy, about the team just coming back. You know, they were down, down, and they kept on finding the word that they're way back. I think that, that shows a lot of character for this football team, like I said a couple of weeks ago, that I, I'm proud of them and disappointed that we lost tonight. But we're proud because they kept coming back. They didn't say, okay, well, we're going to shut it down. I think the one thing that, that you're going to see with these guys is that from where I was the first head coach to where I'm now, this football team is total uh, mindset is different. They, they believe in what we're doing. They believe in the coaching staff. They believe no matter what the circumstances is, they're going to give it this best. And, and I think that when people watch us play, they see that. And, and the more that you can see us perform to that high level, and, and we're always going to have an opportunity to come back and win a game, you'll respect that from the University of Miami. Uh, do we still have a long ways to go? Yes. Do I think we're on the right page? In the right track, yes. And just, you know, few few things that we got to clean up as far as offense and defense and special teams. But I think the more we keep recruiting and get the right kind of players in here, uh, for the long haul, this program will be successful. Any more questions? Did you did you yeah. expect did you expect Harris to be as good as he is? 
Ja'Cory, yeah, you know what? I've been watching Ja'Cory for a long time because of his high school, and me and his dad kind of know each other since like uh, 10th, 11th grade. So I've been watching him through high school, and he's always had the same demeanor that he always had. A lot of people don't realize this, but Ja'Cory came to high school as a basketball player. And, uh, the football coaches went and got him out and bought him on the football field because they saw him throw a football one day, and that was the way he got started into football. How do you guys prepare for Houston? Houston. They're running back. They're running back. But you got to give me numbers. Oh, I'm sorry. Numbers. Uh, what is his number? 32. 32. Oh, we know he's a big banger. We know he's a big banger, and, and I thought the first half, the second, third quarter, we did a great job. The, the one drive, he was slamming it up, and now we was, you know, bouncing off him a little bit. Guys were taking chances, and that happens in situations like that. When the guy's trying to make a play, trying to make a tackle, they're going to run in there and not do their assignments. And, and uh, for the most part, I thought the guy did a good job. He's a tough running back. You know, he's a guy that carried the load for him. And, um, and I think that's what they'll probably do the rest of the year, knowing Coach Davis. He's going to use that guy a lot more. I understand a loss is a loss, Coach, but you got to feel good about your, your team. They have four turnovers, and, but you still have a chance to win towards the end of the game. Yeah, we did have a chance to win. But, you know, it, it's just hard. That's all for me as a coach because, you know, you put so much into it. The kids put so much into it. And, uh, and, and, and the best thing about, like I said, this football team is how they always – competitively always come back to, to try to win the game, no matter what the scores. I mean, we've been down some games this season by 17 points. We've been down uh, 11 points, some other situations, and they kept coming back. And I think that's that shows you, even though we're young at certain spots, that shows you how much more that we're going to be as we keep playing and the more games we play uh, to, to the you know games left in the season and years to come here. Is that the biggest improvement you, you've seen since the beginning of the season? Yes. Really do. I think that when you watch, because we're an exciting football team to watch, to be honest. I mean, you probably the ratings, probably TV love us more than anything because we always have ratings. And, and you watch Miami play, you, you can never count them out. It's, and, and with this football team, you can never count us out. I mean, besides the, the Virginia Tech game, I think that we did a phenomenal job this season. I mean, we lost to Clemson in overtime last year of the game. It was, that, that was a tough one. Then we come back tonight. Was down some points, had an opportunity, couldn't stop them on defense, and we went down the field, just didn't have enough time to get it done. So it's always going to be a team that's always giving you the edge, but the more we play, the more we learn. And I think you get better each week as you keep learning as you're playing football. That's it? All right, take care. Thank you.